This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Coming up, game one of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Yankees. Fook Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these players are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. The lefty on the mound for the Yankees, Carlos Rodon. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all Leading of those pitches, five, or is he just five, able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he yeah, wants? Yeah. Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very Bruno. tough for the opponent today. Kevin Kiermeyer at the plate and takes high there. right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time here's Mookie now top of the zone for a called strike Rodone, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, Ball, no. that is pretty valuable. And now the lefty. Two one. Next offering is outside. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And Betts is gone. Two up, two down. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. That one well upstairs. And the count is 2-0. and oh. And a foul ball. Two out spaces empty. And Three another ball. ball. Three ball one, ball. and he couldn't come up with it. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And here comes Tommy Edmond. And that drops in for a strike. 
No ball. One strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first here in game one of the World Series. Next one misses, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. Next offering misses, and the count is two and two. Ouch, that one drilled him. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball, no. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. So two balls and no strikes. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Just off the outside edge. Three balls, no strikes. Enrique Hernandez getting on deck circle. At the belt and fires. And there's the automatic. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's Kike Hernandez. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two outs. is almost over as it begins in this situation. You have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Oh, Struck three. him out looking. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. for more from the Bronx and starting in this one Michael Kopech they're going to start this one with the opener because of the matchups very favorable I think we're going to see him empty the tank with really good fastball velocity to try to retire these first three hitters ready to go for the last half of the go. inning and game here game. is Glaber Torres Glaber and here it comes Fouled off. He was late. A one down. Swinging a foul straight back. Ball that one cutting but missing one down ball. low. Two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to 
at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Juan Soto stands in now and watches strike one. Bench misses, and now it's even one, one and ball. one. One strike. And a strike right through there. That one a triple digits. Got him looking. That's the second out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Swings through that one for strike one. one, one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout, and you get your chance. Go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Rip to short. Oh, he throws it away, and it's going to wind up out of play. Well, that was that a call that just shouldn't have been made. No they right scored right. a single and an no, error, no, no, no. so the official scorer doesn't believe yeah, no, no, no. a good throw would have gotten an out, and neither do I. We can't hear it from up here, but I wonder if anyone was telling him just to eat the throw. You know, that's where communication on the infield can sometimes help out a ton. Giancarlo Stanton in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is hurt, hurt. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back now in the Bronx. Oh, okay. And here's the rookie center fielder, Andy Pajas. Andy. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. That one's in there. That's strike one. Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, but we love being a part of these games. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball. Two strikes. And yeah, there's a ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And quickly won away in the second. The batter now will be Will Smith. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. One down, base is empty. That one is upstairs. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That's in there. That's strike two. And this is inside. Second inning here. No score. That one 95 to finish him off. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. Here comes Chris Taylor. Pitches in the dirt, 1-0. and oh. Two down, nobody on. Right uh -huh. through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. And that one.
towards the corner. Rodon ready. Here comes. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back we to the go. ballpark. Digging in, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Game. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Siggy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you get to the World Series, that's what your whole goal was the entire season. Then you're there. There can be some luck involved, so you just got to shake it off, go out there, know that this is a rare opportunity, and just play your best. And another ball. Strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And that one fouled off. Missed. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look back at the pitch sequence on that strikeout, it's pretty interesting. Away, in, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box. And now, Anthony Volpe. Pitch misses outside, and it's one to know. And the righty deals. Yep. Right through there for a strike. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Ah. And that clips the inside corner. It's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case, it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. So two away with nobody on. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Ball Upstairs. One. one ball, no strike. One off out of play back to our left. 
One run across in the frame so far here in game one. And that one lifted in the air center field. He makes the grab and that will end the inning. So they pick up a run of the solo shot and take the lead. We play two full. Yankees one and the Dodgers nothing. Back in the Bronx and Bronx. stepping in the is the speedy Kevin yeah, Kiermeyer. There's a good feel in the ballpark again. That's what you expect when the home side has the lead in game one. This energy is going to keep building with every out. Bunting for a hit. Jazz tosses the first. And the bunt attempt doesn't work out. Here's Mookie to hit. First time up was a pop out. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now Teoscar Hernandez walked his first time. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Two outs. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball two. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And another ball. And he walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Foul ball there. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. The pitch. Just missed. Hernandez, the runner at first with two gone. Swings through that. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. That Walk just in. misses. Now two and two. Oh. Picks up strikeout number seven. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Yankees one and the Dodgers nothing. In the Bronx, set for the bottom of the third. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo, 27 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2014. Way inside. Left hand batter waits. 
Hurt. One ball, one strike. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Righty delivers. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a good back, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Labor Torres up to hit. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Hot shot to third. Toss to Muncie. And Glaber Torres retired. The designated hitter. Juan Soto. Two outs, base is empty. Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing you're here in the World one Series ball. now, no just strike. try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful the with him. I doubt he's going to get much to he hit won't. today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. Ball. Off the mark there, and that's ball three. Aaron Judge on deck for the Yankees. And a four that's pitch walk. Take your bait. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The the hitter didn't the offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about Aaron. over first. Here yeah. is Aaron Judge. Reached on an infield single his first time. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. That one misses. Out. Ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, no, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And the pitch. And Judge spoils that one. Two and one on Judge. Yeah. And missing low. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Tapped softly on the ground. Hernandez That's over out. to first in time. That's the third out, inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. On to the fourth now in game number one. Yankees one and the Dodgers nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Max Muncy. Rodone back to work. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Ah! Swings and misses, struck him out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of working away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Kike Hernandez. His first at bat was a strikeout. 
That's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes went down on strikes his first time through. In the air, right field. Into the gap. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life, I don't know, but man, Great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. Fernandez off of first with two away. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Smith tries to hold got? up, appeal to first, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Ball. And another ball. 2-2. Two -two. Rodon fires. And a good three. eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Chris Taylor waits on deck. The Dodgers down by a run. Top half of inning number four. And that's ball too high. Ball, ball, ball four. four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real so issues out. with control. So first and second with two outs. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. Over one so far. Uh -huh. And that's a strike. Oh. And ball one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Wouldn't you chase that time. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Kicks and deals. In oh. there at the knees. And out to a two. Well, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And they get even the jam. Well done to finish off the strikeout at any inning. Dodgers strand a couple. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Game one of the World Series. Now, Giancarlo Stanton. The right-hander back to work. Out to center. Under this one. Hauls it in for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Up next. Up the the third base Jazz Chisholm yeah. Jr. now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And a swing and a miss there. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. 
What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. The line of the pitch. No. That one just misses, and a count one and two. And Good another two. ball. Left hand hitter waits. Stays alive. as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. That was a pretty funny bat right there, but you kind of hate to see a long no, battle like that end on a questionable call. I think he was right and let it go. Frustrating result after he fought so hard at the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Michael Kopech gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So now the Dodgers have a new arm Jason. on the mound. Shohei Otani. Still pretty early Shohei. in the ball game, so this bullpen Otani. has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Anthony Rizzo. That one in there across the letters. Front for strike two. Oh, two. This is inside. Now one and two. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Makes the play and it's out number three. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's Kiermaier now. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Mookie Betts now. Snap throw to first. It's low and gets away. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard to order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Here comes the 0 1. With well, two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Kiermaier on at first. Nobody out. Strikeout. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First offering misses badly for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. 
Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to yeah. be in and that drops in for a strike good approach right there you want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate stay out of that double play Kiermaier on the goal Pulls it in and there's two away now a throw to first and he won't get back in time it's a double play still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five Yankees won and the Dodgers nothing back at Yankee Stadium now the batter now Anthony Volpe And he deals. Strike one. Just a little too no quick ball. on that What's front right? shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. You'll one. The one shortstop one. takes the ball. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. And a pitch. Popped up. Edmund going after it. Brings it in. One away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. Glide out his first time. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ball. One ball, one strike. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Now got left field. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's over one. Left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is that. Back here in New York. And now Tommy Edmond. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And one, down two. one and two. Yeah, downstairs. These fans have to feel good right about now. This series is not going to be easy, but they have the lead at home in game one. That brings the anxiety down a few notches. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. That's the third. Now a jump throw. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's Muncie to hit. 
Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. The other way, and he beats the shift. So a man aboard now with one away. But I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Runner on at first with one gone. And next for L.A., Kike Hernandez, one for two. Hernandez goes 5 feet 11 inches 195 pounds and he was born in Puerto Rico pitches in there that's strike one with the tying run on at first and we're at the top half of the sixth Next One, pitch two. not close up high. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you look for something down in the zone. But Ouch, ah. that one got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. The Andy Pajas getting ready to hit. Well, oh. all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One one. One out. Runners at first and second. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Fouls it off, still one and two. Rodon sets. And deals. And there's two away. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, and it remains 1 0. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Glaber Torres. The second baseman. back to work. There's the strike. Fastball for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Swings and misses. Now one away. And now it's Juan Soto. He's over one. Soto. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Ball. And that's outside. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Line drive, come on! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Two outs, base is empty. It's Aaron Judge now. He has, as they like to say... Let me guess, Boog. Light tower power? That's ah. right. That catches the zone for a strike. Going along. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's no. not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. That two one two. not close. And the count is even two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. But they hold a one nothing lead. Back for more from the Bronx. We go to the top of the seventh. Here comes Chris Taylor. As the lefty gets to work. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches. And I mean make an educated guess. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at. And a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. That one out to right. And out number one on the ground. Now, now, now. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Next is the designated hitter, Kevin Kiermeyer. One for three. The other way. That's a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, but let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Carlos Rodon is done in this one, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Luis Heal gets the ball now. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And now it's Mookie Betts. First pitch, and he just misses. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the late stages of game one. Heel checks on first. Kiermaier back in. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. That's outside. And now 2-0. Turns and fires to Betts. Kiermaier on the goal. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. So the tying run at second. And fouled off. machine another clutch run scoring at bat yeah he's been so good in these situations call it clutch if you want but his resume speaks for itself Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers close but call the ball and that's ball one comes a pitch. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Away. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first.
pitch misses inside. And it's two and one. Ball. And that's outside. Ball on this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Bo. Tommy Edmond waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Right-handed reliever. Swung on. Belted. That one back. And it is out of here. He muscles that one out the opposite way. And they lead it. It's 3-1. like he's playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure Tommy Edmond at the plate the bit right. behind with that swing it's strike one oh one one down base is empty and that one a little bit high. One ball, one strike. Outside low, and it's two, two balls, one strike. Already three runs across in the frame here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a broken bat flare towards left. On the run, throw to first. And they get Edmund for the end. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing. And that clearly blew him up on the hand, sawed off that bat. I'll tell you what, the bat companies, they're pretty happy when guys like this come in out of the bullpen. Muncy stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. Ball. That one at 95 missed up top, and it's three and zero. Oh. That one ball is four. inside ball four, and I mean, oh, so close. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. On the mound now, Jake Cousins. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Runner at first with two away. Here's the third baseman, Enrique Hernandez. Misses no, off the, the play. 1-0. Oh. 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. That was a point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And that one is lifted in the air. Stanton on the move. Brings it in for the third out. So they get three and jump ahead late. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees one. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Lake Trinan. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. There's Stanton now. For the Yankees. The right field. The Yankees looking to rally. And here it comes. That clips a corner. Movement in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Phillips, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Righty to the plate. And that's in for a strike. That's what tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. 
ball. That one inside, and it's one, one two. and two. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, yeah it just does so feet. much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, it's so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Outside corner, there's a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And the righty deals. Inside and it hit him. Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to. And the release point was a little bit off as well. So two down. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. He's already homered in this game. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Rizzo leads off first with two down to the inning. pitch foul ball it stays nothing in two tying run at the plate swings through that one it's a strikeout so it's no runs on no hits no errors and one man left we look ahead to inning number eight it's the Dodgers three and the Yankees one Top of the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. The, the center, the center field, field, number 34, Andy Pajes. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Tommy Canely getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Meza, the lefty, warming up as well. The 0 1. No, that's the ball. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Oh, tough night at the dish. Touch it out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Smith ball. stands in here. Takes ball one low. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to first. And that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. The 
pitch. Ball two. That one misses. Three and two Both down. down. Slinging. Slider got him for strike three. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Taylor in the box now as he leaves that one up high. No strike. Two down, nobody on. Pitch in the dirt, and it's two and one. No. That one missed. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will now produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Left hitter out of the bullpen, Tim Mesa. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the DH, Kevin Kiermeyer. Step off throw to first, okay. and he's back in easily. Ball. And that's outside. And one that out. is ball one. Ball. Just missed. No, oh, he's really Two working ball. him away this no at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Left hand batter waits. To third, Chisholm. They get the close out number three. Tidy work out of the Yankee bullpen there. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Yankees one. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Daniel Hudson. Austin Wells now at the plate. The catcher, Austin Wells. And the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Righty delivers. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. That gets down for a hit. And aboard on the leadoff single. Got a change up and a pretty good one too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. Next to hit, Alex Verdugo. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Oh. And now it's even up. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Trying to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That clips the zone. That is strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The tying run at the plate. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Thomas settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Oh. 
down back. Second base. Waver. Torres. So the lineup flips over. Here is Glaber Torres. And a ground ball to first. Down the line, and it's foul. Just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is Ed was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Entering is the pinch runner, John Birdie. On Soto now. John. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Two on, one out. Ball. And now two balls and a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. George Scott getting loose out there. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. In the dirt, but kept close. But no advance from the runners. Runners are at the corners, one away. Three, two. Lined in the left center, took the extra bases. One runs in. He'll score, and the Yankees even it up. It's 3-0. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you could come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. Ryan Brazier gets the call from the pen. Well, I got to think he probably has a little no, extra in the tank four, facing four, his four. former team, and Number there's not a player in the league that doesn't one, get a little extra two, motivation two, when he plays against his old squad. Yeah, the hard-throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent no. Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron one Judge. No strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Okay. The next pitch misses. Two and oh. And well, you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Ball. That one misses. And that's ball three. Normally, you wouldn't mind giving up first base, but the power waiting on deck might change your thinking a bit. Bad spot for the pitcher here in this count. Kicks and deals. That just Walker. missed. He walked him on four pitches. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. <laughs> so a champion right made at first base. No, and no, here's no, the no. Yankees pitch runner, Jason no, Dominguez. No. Two on, one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Right through there for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it.
kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Big strike out there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base. But job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. So first and second with two outs. And here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. He One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. So two down, Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. Two outs. Ball one. One ball. One strike. No, that misses. That's too high. Two and one. Ball. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your bait. You know, Boog, it's been said, these guys are savages in the box. Not bad, not bad, you can see it right there with such Just tight plate discipline. Two outs, runner at first. Volpe. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He's already homered here in this one. And a foul ball. You'll one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 8 3. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Good. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets from Brent Honeywell Jr. Taking over on the mound. Now He's into the game, but the base is empty. Number 30, Brent Honeywell Jr. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. And that's outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Oh, no. There's a strike. Oh. Late on that fastball. He can live up what in the zone do? all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. A one, two. Oh, and that two. just yeah. misses. And yeah, there's a the ball. Hold down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That one ends the onslaught and the inning. Now into the game, John Birdie. He'll play second. Also into the ball game, Jason Dominguez. He'll be patrolling center field. Mark Leiter Jr. gets handed the rock out of the pen, 
and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Mookie Betts will get us started. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Looked like it was a little bit up. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. The wind of the pitch. Inside. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Pick it bad right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. And it's ball oh, four. four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So man aboard. And up next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Old one. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Fly ball down the line. And it drops in. Betts around second, headed for third. Coming home. He will score. And it's 8-4. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Now that Tommy Edmund. And now here is Tommy Edmund. And first offering is fouled off. Right hater deals. Ball Just one. missed. One one. Swing and a miss. One the Yanks leading up. by four here at the top of the ninth. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. He's two outs away. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Ah. And there's the strike. He swings through. Good okay. lead sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Hernandez stands at third with one gone in the inning. Oh, swing and a miss. Ooh. Struck him out. Long. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Fernandez yeah. in the box now. No balls in a strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh. 
one strike away. One and two now. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up, steps on the bag himself, ball game. 